Okay. I hate my iPad. Brought to you by Marcel. <laughs> yeah, it's from Slate. Um, com. And it says, I hate my iPad. Can my tablet-loving Slate colleagues convince me I didn't just waste $600? No, you wasted $600. Move yeah, on. Exactly. Accept your failure. You are an incompetent human being. I bought my iPad being. for the wrong reasons. What is that reason? Here it comes. I got one because it seemed like everyone I knew had gotten one for Christmas. And, well, I felt left out. Fad! This is a fad! Thank you. Anyway, so, um, I didn't think about how it would it would fit in with my gadgets I had already owned, like laptop, Kindle, iPhone. I didn't borrow a friend's and take it on a test drive. Now I just feel annoyed having spent $600 on a device that hasn't done anything to improve my life. Well, to this, to this guy, you, you know, you drank the Kool-Aid, the fat Kool-Aid, it was there. Sell it on eBay. And somebody else can then write uh, a... A know, fad story of their own. Yeah, exactly. How they hate their own that. So anyway... <laughs> well, it says, uh, a salad spinner would have been better investment. <laughs> hey, 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 don't shoot the salad shooters. You can't buy those anywhere these days. He said a salad spinner would have been a better investment. And I don't even eat that much salad. That is like awesome. I love this art. But he said, but anyway. Uh, and so they go on. And he says, he doesn't, find, he doesn't think it's totally useless. There's uh, no question he likes browsing on the web. And sitting on the couch is easier. Though I have relatively, um, let's see. Alright, it's kind of a pain to tote around the apartment, his, his, his laptop, he's saying, but I am the kind of person who pays $600 to save the effort of detaching some USB cables from time to time. I don't want to be that kind of person. I also use a tablet to time shift. Uh, I've long been a fan of Insta Paper Pro App, which allows me to bookmark blah blah blah. What is that one of these? These things for my iPad is a superior to reading article. There's one where this, it talks about how it's annoying to hold. It prefers the name of the. No, yeah, I I do find the shape of some of the iPads a little. Uh, it, 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 when it comes to reading books, I prefer my Kindle. Like, okay. some, I, I don't know if it's the weight ratio, what it is, but there's something that's not quite whatever. Well, um, all right, he says how, how he likes his Kindle. Or is this a she or he? I don't even know if I'm saying that here. Just there's John. a human being yeah. that made a mistake and bought an iPad. I prefer my Kindle, it's in technology, as I have been quoted as saying, offers a break from the brightly lit screens. I totally concur. The only I bad say, thing about the Kindle is you can't see it in the dark. Well, yeah, I guess you could, but. You buy, no, Kindle. I know people who buy reading lights for their Kindle. Yeah. So, um, where am I at now? It's now. It says the Kindle is also economical and not just because it's cheaper than the iPad. The money I saved by subscribing to the New York Times and blah, 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 which is all content. So, the iPad's interface also has some serious limitations. You don't say. Typing on a thing is beastly. <laughs> now, a bit, be nice. But the device is only for, uh, for consuming, not composing. And there are limits to what you can consume. You don't say. As I learned when I tried to stream the, uh, the Jets Pats playoff game while traveling, only to realize that radio streaming is typically a flash of air and thus not possible on the iPad. You don't say. Just by these shortcomings, I turn to my slate colleagues, many of whom are enthusiastic, enthusiastic supporters of the device. I hope they can explain the tablet's appeal. And here's the email thread that ensued. Oh no. 
this is so cool. I hate my I hate I hate my iPad. What am I doing wrong? And the person says, "Give it to me." That's <laughs> fair. This is maybe the problem is that you are expecting it to be more than a toy. Oh my God, that is awesome. This is from a one of. It is not useful in any meaningful sense. Unless you are traveling with it. The games are super fun, though. <laughs> the culmination of all of the show's arguments I've been trying to convey to people, and I have other people just say it right here for me. Maybe the problem is that you are expecting it to be more than a toy. It is not useful in any meaningful sense. <laughs> Unless you are traveling with it. The games are super fun though. So we've covered Angry Birds, not useful, and it's only a toy. Okay, moving on to the next one. Maybe you're happy with your iPhone. I use my iPad to do the same things. No, 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 no. How far down are you? I'm just the no, next okay. comment. Oh, okay, this is the next one. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, you, oh, you're on the other one. Okay, yeah. It says, maybe you you are too happy with your iPhone. I use my iPad to do the same things I do on my iPhone, only on a bigger scale, which correlates to what I'm saying. It's a slave device to your yeah. phone. I say, download Angry Birds. <laughs> it's 450 times better on the iPad. Yes. It won't improve your life. The opposite. But it will get you addicted. <laughs> this, is like, this is like the best. This is, this is just... You can make this. This is... And then download... Oh, I love that. Uh, go ahead. These are bad apps. Read them. Oh, my God. Flipboard. Uh, Flat Instant Paper in my TMPR. Wacko Slate. Uh, Wikipedia, Twitter, Google, ABC Player. Wikitunes. Maybe I am plus. What... All of that is just... I know, it's fluff. Uh, if you use if you use Gchat or other IM services, set the email on your email address and you get news I've sent to you and buy the iBooks. iTunes also gives out free music every week, which is worth at least one viewing. Sign up for the news on iTunes. So this, that justifies $600. Right. And next well, uh, wait a minute. $600, one free dollar thing of music... You will get it back in how many years? <laughs> and, and, and here's for Tiny. And, and Netflix. 60% of my iPad time is spent on Netflix. Oh, no, no. That would, no, no, no. That would not appease Tiny. This is why Tiny has gone Android and he's keeping his grandfathered in plan. Because he's using 10 to 20 gigs a month, basically being the Netflix warrior. <laughs> Between Netflix, Hulu, and Pandora, oh dear lord! <laughs> and, he, and every so, and I know that because every so often he'll just walk in the door, and go, "Damn it, they're throttling me again!" I've only used twelve gig. <laughs> it's like, and, and, and bear in mind, these are all different people responding. I know. This is. It, it, I, my point has been made. I know. Oh, I love this next one. <laughs> I don't get married, then you can use it to ignore your wife. <laughs> God. Oh my God! Or, uh, or you can be considerate and use the Kindle app on your iPad to read it. In bed. Uh, it says it's quieter than the actual Kindle. I don't, I don't know that for sure. Uh, it says, but writer, the problem with reading a book on the iPad is that there's always the web. This is a different person. There's always a, a, a web and Netflix to compete with. I, I have never finish a book on an iPad. I think that speaks volumes. Uh, I have mine by the TV and quickly share YouTube videos people bring up. Wow. 600 bucks for that. Settle <laughs> inquiries instantly. So they use it to debate and look things up. People yeah, somebody that. says this and they go, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> like, where, you say that? Where, where are you at? No, the, the debate inquiries one. Uh, okay. And then uh, use BGI to consolidate all my chats in Facebook and Google. Manage scripts on set, write, manage my calendar, watch movies in bed. Um, what is it? I guess I'll do this guy, at least this person, I'll give them the credit, are using it to do music, some, I guess, make some music tracks with Beatmaker. 
I love the I love the way this guy ends it and play games. I think you're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and play games. I think you're doing it wrong. That's true. Right, he's kind of the same guy. Yeah, he ends it. He says, "I think you're doing it." And then, uh, and then, the, and then Doreen does other way. She goes, "All of what you can do on the laptop." Well said. Thank you. <laughs> like, for cheaper. Uh, I think if you bought it, thinking it was capable. Oh God! Here we go. It, now this is okay. Now this is the same guy as the guy who was doing the beats thing or whatever. So this guy is. This is the guy who says they think you're doing it wrong and is playing the yeah. games and everything. Yeah, else. he says I think if you bought it, thinking it was more capable than a laptop, you'll probably be disappointed. <gasps> this guy is not drinking the apple Kool Aid, Rusty. It's supposed to be post PC, damn it. Well, you realize what he just admitted without admitting it? He admitted he spent more for a device that does less. But then he says, I have a terrible HP laptop and you can only use one plug in, so I'm obviously biased. But you're also contradicting yourself. <laughs> it's not, in other words. Well, you know, only in the Apple universe does that statement make sense. Let, let's no, read that again. No. I think if you bought it thinking it was more capable than a laptop, you'll probably be disappointed. I have a terrible HP laptop that you can only use plugged in, so I'm obviously biased. <laughs> yep, yep. And this guy goes, but he's obviously saying his terrible HP laptop is more capable. That he can only use by plugged in. <laughs> that is, like, awesome. All right, anyway, he goes, and here's another one. I think it's amazing that Apple has convinced I love this wording. I think it's amazing that Apple has convinced so many people to pay $600 for what seem like much marginal improvements in their lifestyle. $600 to be able to check my email in bed in a slightly more comfortable fashion than on my laptop seems sort of crazy when I stop and think about it. That's true. It's only really entirely crazy. I don't know. I try, even my playbook, I can't deal with it. But, um, oh, and the other guy goes, this now, 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 there are, some of them are. Uh, no, no, I love the first one on page two. Your problem is stopping to think about it. That's right. <laughs> the other guy, I, I finished, this must be replying to the Kindle guy, I finished many books on my iPad. Yeah, it's a, it's a superb vehicle for reading books, especially fat ones like. And, and you know what? Before I experienced the Kindle, I would have seen that argument. It, 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 but once you experience a Kindle and f experience the joys of synthetic paper, you will never make that argument. Yeah. This guy still spent $600 for... Okay, so he likes the, an e-reader. Uh, uh, I love this one. The iPad... It, it, this is the same guy. The iPad is excellent for reading email. But granted, it is only a little better than an iPhone. Composing email. Interesting. See what I'm saying? Human input touch failure. All right, anyway. So, the secret... <laughs> uh, oh, no, no, uh, and I love this. This is the guy who says it's, who's singing, kind of singing its email praise, singing its ebook praise. But even he has something to complain about. For watching movies, the iPad is not so good. Oh, but you missed a great sentence before that. The secret to loving your iPad is not to expect an interactive experience from it. I'm not... Uh, <laughs> That's right. The key to any Apple product, expect less. Oh, yeah. I do I just dig this, though. This is awesome. Go ahead. Start off what you're saying. You're saying for watching movies, guys. Yeah, oh uh, uh, yeah, anyways, after saying, you know, not expecting sign, of course, for watching movies, the iPad is not so good. Ah, uh, but it can be done if you don't mind the fingerprints on the screen and your reflection from a sun, uh, from the uh, stunning, unflattering angle, then the screen fades to black. <laughs> God. That is a real problem with touch devices. You wind up with all these... I, there are certain people I will never let touch my touch devices because their fingers are always dirty and greasy and they, you're like, what the fuck, did you like dip it in chicken butter or something? That's like, uh. Yeah, frankly, I'm with uh, Swansburg, who's another person. I found 
remarkably few uses for the iPad that don't make me wish the time back once I spent it. <laughs> That said, I'm also with Farnhart on the Netflix issue. <laughs> and, uh, and one excellent use for an iPad or, or iPhone, for that matter, is to get a cable that runs from the output to a regular TV. So they're wanting to put it into the TV, okay? Then you can rent movies on iTunes and blah, blah, blah. Here's the cable. All right. Yeah. This stuff more reasonably, since obviously it's weather. Well, no, this different. right here, this what people want is these stupid Roku devices. But they aren't. I think what they really want is for their slate or phone to dock and become that device rather than have a separate one. Right, right. right. Now here it is again. Fad, fad, fad. I'm gonna skip down to the John, John one. I have a violently, <laughs> I have a, a violently split reaction. I didn't really want an iPad, but my wife gave me one for Father's Day because I am such an awesome father. But see, why did the wife do it? I guarantee you the wife did it. Because, because the sales the guy sold it to her. Right. Her, the group of friends, oh, it's the new thing. It's, everybody wants one. Uh, I, I, I love his in parentheses. I know, I know, bit. Has yes. he, does your wife ever do this to you? I love his in parentheses comment. Also to keep me occupied so I don't screw up the children. <laughs> start in the third paragraph. This is right up your alley. For, for work? Oh, for work, how the iPad is, 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 uh, is not just bad. It represents a net reduction in productivity. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Next sentence, it gets worse. One of the great things about the new web is you can manipulate text, but the iPad treats you like a child. Of all time, I, this author, I just, you know, I gotta use their stuff. This iPad is just, for work, however, the iPad is, is not just bad. It represents a net reduction in productivity. What did I always think? They're going backwards with these damn tablets. Well, no, and, and the second sentence re-emphasizes that. One of the great things about the new web is that you can manipulate text, but the iPad treats you like a child. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I love the parentheses one for that. Not unlike the way iTunes treats you like a child when you own music. <laughs> I can't fluffy text. I can't copy text out of the New York Times app or Washington Post app or most other apps for that matter. Doing it from a web page in Safari takes about the time required to make a cup of tea. <laughs> 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 Dude, this is just too much for me. Oh my god. This thing, I feel like I spent all my time poking at the screen and trying to get the little blue box to be. <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. Oh my god. That is touch fail. It's like I'm on an endless search for a button in the sun. Uh, <laughs> People are brilliant. Want to come up with a sh This is awesome. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think you just need to tweet that paragraph. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And they say it so elegantly. <laughs> I never read page two, but page two had the best. I'm going to repeat my favorite line. Here we go. For work, however, the iPad is not just bad. It represents a net reduction in productivity. Yep. God. Now you can quote. <laughs> Okay, before we get ourselves in trouble, <laughs> too late. <laughs> I'm gonna take it a lot. Um, then, uh, see, there's, there's other articles. I, I see. I went off because I was tired of our tablet arguments. That I didn't want to be there because I know I'm not crazy, and I know what I see. 
All those people bought the iPad for one reason or another. Most of it probably because it's a fashionable thing, their friends had and they want to try it out, or they're gonna chunk out the money. But that's coming to it. That's gonna unless iOS changes on the iPad, that message, once enough people get to it, is the same thing with how netbooks got the reputation. Underpowered, didn't do enough. And also and, and mark my words, it will happen. The tablets that Rusty wants are far, are, are maybe they're closer than you think, but they're not being produced right now. Uh, the, what they're, the technology to make them is here. It's going to take somebody with balls going, I'm not going to follow the, the mm -hmm. I'm not going to follow the trend, I'm going to make the device or technology is capable right. of making. And, but it's, it's, it's perfectly clear to me, though, that a full-blown OS like Windows 7 tablet, which is productive, is not, because obviously Windows 7 is not, the consumer sales are flat. So then it comes to my question is, well, there is a place for tablets, like the Kindle, but the Kindle's a Kindle, even though it's a form factor of a tablet, and it's much cheaper. Much, much cheaper. If an iPad were really $200, I would consider it. Okay. It's 200 bucks. Uh, uh, okay. Um, let but, but, but now, I'm just saying, back then, they would have actually been considered. If, it, if that's the price mark, you know, my son owns a, a Kindle Fire, which is a good price. I own a you know, Playbook, which is also just, was actually one eighty nine when I got it. But uh, it's, I think that that's going to catch up with Apple. It's just going to catch up with Apple. Short of Apple making a change that changes the dynamic. Well, I, I, you know, I can't help but notice. I, 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 which is not going to go away, on it. No, I, I know. I can't help but notice your your supposedly keeping it balanced story of why I hate holding an Android tablet is so much shorter. <laughs> yeah, I know. I did have to throw it in. He goes, tablets are for people who hate computers, I think, and this comes from ZDNet. Um, and you can, you can kind of read that. Uh, I, I don't necessarily agree with all of it and stuff. They bring out like exceptions to the rule, which are like field workers, single purpose tasks, and um, kiosks. See, hello, that that's right. That's what a tablet is. That that's what that's what. Uh, you right know, is. honestly, bet the three places I see tablets doing great are point of sale. Yes, I've seen I've coded for point of sale systems. That's why I know touch is like and what. Or, 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 this is totally uncooling for my post PC. Are they kidding me? Well, you, there's no coding to do. All those systems are already in place. Well, no, they built a POS system, like the restaurants and all sorts of stuff. No, what I mean is you, uh, every uh, iPhone and Android device has a point of sale thing. You just have to sign up for it. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, I see them doing good there. I see them being the distraction device. I see them being the appliance device. You know, honestly, in some ways, I look up at this as the preschooler's computer uh, at the bright price point. That isn't the iPad. That's like the Kindle Fire and, and so on and so forth. Um, but, yeah, it, it, it's... Um, I, I To a certain degree, I buy the for people who hate computers because, honestly... I see my mother and my grandma using a slate far more than I do using a computer. You know, they want a laptop, but they don't really want a laptop. They, they, they just kind of want a simple browsing device that, you know, that basically if they're going to check their email, this is really the only way I see it. They're not going to, they don't do it other ways. Um, that's, their, that's their augmentation device for at home. Uh, whether that becomes a slate or a smartphone it is going to depend on other factors, but yeah. Yeah. See, I, in, in my, uh, the reason, only reason why I own that playbook is because that tablet, for, I don't even like to call it a tablet, is a slave device on my phone. And BlackBerry is the closest execution of that. And as a matter of fact, it merges my phone in the limited screen real estate very well uh, if I need to do something like that. And I don't look at that, the tablet as. Any other thing other than being a slave device to my phone? Right now. Yeah, well, and um, I think I think you have a bit of tunnel vision there. I agree that's one of the uses it should have, but oh, I don't oh, think yeah, it should no, be no, 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 But yeah, but I, I remember I want to get a Kindle for you know reading 
and it's at the right price. You know, what is it? Is seventy nine dollars? Or you told me to go look at the other. I don't know. It's like a hundred bucks around there. That's yeah. a reasonable price for that. Um, and I'll find other. You know, but I'm not. Saying, there's no way. In, yeah. Well, no. Well, and here's the thing to consider, bit. Okay. Um, the like you say. You buy and spend a hundred dollars on your Kindle. You spend two hundred dollars on your touch thing. You spend some, you know, before you know it, buying four or five devices, you can spend the six hundred bucks. So really, what we need to do is get a good middle of the road device that's in the one hundred fifty to three hundred dollar range. That's not the oh dear god device, but it's it's. But my e reader will not be that good. I I only like to use reading seriously. I don't read on my playbook. I can't take it. No. I just no. I want to see the hybrids. I, I am waiting for the hybrid slates, the slates that have both the e ink and but the yes, regular slate. Barnes and Noble, Barnes and Noble, or was it? Is it Barnes and Noble that made it? Do they now have a hybrid backlit, some sort of technology nook now that is e ink but has lights or something? No, no. But I want one that's that's both like an LCD screen and e ink. It's uh, a it's a hybrid one. Okay. Uh, but, but no, I, I would not come close to spending six hundred dollars. I wouldn't because I don't need that many tablets in my life. Oh no, I know. I, I I would only have the Max. Other would would just be the 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 Kindle. So Max two hundred eighty nine bucks. Okay. So anyway, um, this is another one that I found. It's it's, it's called a candle in the dark, and. It's called I Hate Tablets. And it says, I hate tablets. I don't like the iPad. I don't like any of the Android examples. And I don't like the Blackbird. I hate them all. I hate them because all the tablet fanatics out there, perhaps intoxicated by Steve Jobs' fixation, believe that tablets will one day be the predominant form of computing. I think they will. At least for now, this is total. But see, he has the same. We're going to let me read because this has a lot of the development stuff in it, which is we're not talking about form factor. Every time, because iPad has set the definition, Rusty, of, of, of tablets, because everybody wants to copy them, just like John Gruber, they got to copy Apple. Even though we've had tablets long before this that were actually much more productive and did stuff, you know, this is what we have today. Rusty. That's what we're talking about. Every time you talk to the developer, they talk about one of two things. Specific consideration of tablet development, if they're careful about the words they use or limitations in quotes of tablet development, if they aren't, I prefer to use the term limitations of the tablet platform. Essentially, until we have neural connections with our computers, tablets are a much more limited form of communication between user and device. That is undeniable. There, there are simply fewer channels of interaction. Very true. Moreover, the media community and even the talent developers continue to make those limitations even worse. First was Apple's exclusion of Flash, which was a real bummer since the iPad's best at media consumption, and at that means Flash. Then it was the media companies trying to block pretty much everything from the mobile browsers. Even on Android, you can't watch music videos on YouTube. You can't watch Hulu. I think that's changed since since the sky. Uh, yes and no. And honestly, Hulu needs to cut this bullshit about the web only. There's a lot of shows that are web only. You can get a lot of stuff, but it's not a hundred percent. And that also blocks it from things like Roku and others. So it's like, guys, stop it. Yeah. Now, anyway, anyway, um, then it concludes that this is that is in no way a comparable experience. It's not even a, it's not even different. It's inferior. It's true. I feel like we've gone backwards because it's this old rehashed computing. Essentially what's happening. Which can actually have no limitations. We can we could have told well, anyway, he's gonna when Windows is on a tablet, I'll buy it. But Windows has already been on a tablet. I bought it for when I'm on a tablet long ago. You know, and 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 so that that's how that's how they can but there are so many. I love how this he went on with developers and, and talking in his circle of developers talking talking about limitations of, of tablet development. So I, because I've been there, I've been there. You know, it's I can't look at a tablet, which is supposed to be a freaking post PC device, 
and I and I get shut down on every damn avenue that would make my programming life much easier. And we wonder why tablets are dominated by fluff crap. Because they're standalone. A game is standalone. It doesn't need to do anything. You know? And, and it's so true what, what he's talking about. But I love how, how he simply put that essentially until we have neural connections with our computers, tablets are a much more limited form of communication between user and device. That is the epitome of, of my total frustration. Well, I think they can grow beyond it. It's just going to depend. But uh, right now, yes. And you're, you're right. But honestly, I don't want this, the, the client slave master model you want. I want the augmented. None, none of them are resting. I, you're confusing. I don't want that. I think tablets should just be free right now. But what I'm saying is because of the results we have, I can't do anything other than think of it as a slave device to my phone. I am forced by the environment, so that's the only way. I well, can no, and, and honestly, for tablets to be the device we all want them to be, they need to be neither. They need to be just another computing device that happens to have a different user experience. Or, or a form factor that employs touch in many regards and is able to execute mouse and keyboard just as just as well and not give us these idiotic crap limitations in API and peripheral use and third-party software development. I mean, in terms of, well, I don't, let, me, let me, let me, because the desktop platforms do have limitations and so on. Uh, what I'm getting at is that we have much more access through other third-party software development platforms on OS X, on Windows, and what have you, until that, Oracle breaks them. Correct. Well, whatever that 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 we are able to do and add things that enhance user um, efficiency and, and and whatever the hell word you, you want to describe for it to give a, a, a better usefulness uh, to your, to your application. So that was that was that conclude. I think that we we don't even need to have another tablet show. <laughs> until the next, I, until the next developments uh, on the uh, desktop OS more factor. Because I wanted to, I wanted because we always end up discussing and rehashing stuff, and and, and so I decided to say, you know what, I'm not going to speak alone. I'm going to go out and find everybody else <laughs> and, and, and bring them to the article. So that's what I did, and and I think that they all fit it and, and, and share a lot of my uh, complaints.